wrestling fans. Now you too can look as cool as Monty and the Pharaoh by wearing the official Monty and the Pharaoh sunglasses at night for $8.99 each. That's only $8.99 each. Now available at MontyandthePharaoh.com. What? Yeah. No, I'm... Yeah, I'm behaving myself. No, I'm not playing in abandoned buildings. What? Again? Now. I suppose you had those people follow me again. Fine. Hey, this is Jimmy Farrell from Monty and the Farrell, and I want to thank all our subscribers. We have now passed 14,000 on our YouTube channel, but I want to ask our subscribers to take the next step for us and become a full-fledged member of Monty and the Farrell. Yeah, that's right, folks. There's three different levels to choose from. There's free shirts, there's free autographs. Just check it out and become a member of Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty and the Pharaoh. Later. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty Nefaro, seen here out of Indie Music TV. At the board, we have a double producer in-house, uh, if anybody remembers from last week, uh, our super producer, Matt. This will be his last show. Matty, how are you, buddy? No mic? Howdy, howdy. It's going howdy, great. Howdy. We're going to miss you, brother. All you've done for the show. Um, yeah, I'm going to miss the show, too. It was a great ride and experience for almost two years now as Farrah pointed out to me earlier mm. and uh it's definitely gonna gonna stick out in a, a in my memory it's a very good time well same here man and uh we really appreciate all you've done for us and for everybody out there and then also filling Thank in you. and will be the new producer uh Jeff Rumplick Jeff uh we know for a while he's our graphic artist and he's also a producer and he's going to fill in and be the new producer of the Monty Nefaro show so Jeff you wanted to self introduce yourself to the audience I couldn't spit that out easy for him to say hopefully I can speak clearer than you can oh he's starting already, already. the new producer's your wise ass you very interesting already how you doing over problems. there Jeff I'm, you know I'm I grew up being waiting for you but that's okay you want to still you if you want to begin there we can begin there Jeff's you know, very talented by the way Jeff is very talented folks and we like to trade barbs but it's all good Jimmy, how you he, doing there brother Maria he, Davis says Maddie what? she misses you no. Already. Look at this. He's not even out of the room yet, Jeff. Maria, I'll miss you too. Those are always great <laughs> comments left by you. Always a little reading from you guys. And Jeff, we got to have a really good show because Chris uh, announced, Chris Stevens announced at the beginning of the show he had a really bad week and he's he's looking to get that past him. So he's yeah. the MMP show, get him past that. So we, can you can we you can handle that, I think. Can we? All right. Nice. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah, no pressure. No problem. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Great show last week, Jumping yeah. Jim Brunzel. Yeah, it was fantastic. Love uh, Jim. There's a book. There's a, there Lance. it is, and we're keeping those far right. away from my cats. Keep them far away from yep, my cats. That's right. Great that's right. read. Go. Mm -hmm. uh, where's he? Where's it? Where, where's I, he's, it? I don't know where he's got this available. Uh, yeah, this is that's Google. your job. What are you talking about? I, I barely watch it. TV and computers. So, so probably get it on Amazon. But you know yeah, what? Probably, most likely. Maybe I'll know better. But Jim was fantastic. Well, and book. one thing I can't get over again is Jim, seventy-three years old. He said. Yeah. And he looked like he's 40. Seventy-two. He looked like he was going, 40. Yeah, he looked a lot younger than he, his age. So he's awesome. looking good, sounding good. You know, great guest. All right, so. What do you got? You got something silly for me? No, the Biden administration endorses transgender youth sex change operations, top surgery, and hormone therapy. President Biden's administration has released a series of documents encouraging gen gender reassignment surgery and hormone treatments to minors. What do you think, pal? What do you mean encouraging? 
I like, guess, go I, get this done. What are you? <laughs> what do you mean encouraging? <laughs> That's great. You know, as far as a guy who believes in the law of natural order, I think this is nonsense. What do you want from me? And don't get mad at me either, because it's my opinion. Do what you want to do. I'm not going to freaking come to your yard and get mad, so leave me alone. But I think it's nonsense. What do you mean encouraging? Rick, check out, yeah, definitely check uh, out Brunzel's book. Starts, I, we go from Jim Brunzel to this. Go. <laughs> yeah. Go, get one. Get a sex change. It's one little snippy, snippy. You can come up with like a song and stuff, you, you know. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, go man. It, this country, boy. Yeah, we're fucked. All right, big news of the week. <laughs> Everybody knows uh, on Hollywood's yeah. biggest night as he presented the award, the best documentary feature, he made a joke. We're talking about Chris Rock made a joke we're talking about, about Will Smith's wife, <clears throat> Jada Pinkett yeah. Smith. Mm -hmm. Jada, yeah. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. And I guess Will got upset. And uh, he decided to lay a slap oh, stop on stop it. Chris Rock. Work. Let's have at it. Go ahead, tell me how real it was. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. The funniest part is, is after he hits him, he's walking back, look at his face. And then when he's sitting down in a in chair, oh, Jimmy's effing bringing my wife to... Look at his wife. She's, she's not taking this shit seriously. Everybody stop. Just stop. PJ brings up a good point on, on the last subject. He says, opinion. do whatever you want, but don't make me pay for it. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> but you will, go. PJ. Trust uh, me. Isn't that the bummer? That... <sighs> All right, dude. At first, I Not, thought it was a work, it. too. I thought yeah, it was a work. Just stop. But I really... Okay. There's a couple of real bad problems here, though. All right? Yeah. First of all... There when, is. <laughs> when does a man, yeah. a, a man, mm -hmm. feel that they have the right to put their hands on another man? Well, See, there's women out there. Hear me know, out on this. There's know, women on social media some saying, people ask for I it. wish mm -hmm. my husband would stand up to me like that. Yeah. It's a different scenario. It's yeah. not like you're sitting at a bar, <laughs> you're going <laughs> in the store, and someone's like hitting on you and, and talking nasty to you. Boy, this oh boy. is the Oscars yeah, where yeah. the host is a comedian, mm -hmm. and it's kind of funny stuff. <laughs> and with all due respect, Jada Pinkett Smith yeah, looks yeah. gorgeous right. with her alopecia. Sure. Right? She carries that pretty With well. With alopecia? Right? Yeah, okay. But go ahead. The ghost, Chris Rock has kids. <laughs> he's got, it's so does Heath Slater. Boo-hoo. <laughs> what? Dude, this is such a work. It's a work. Stop it. It's a total work. And, Davio, every, Davio and everyone's says, falling for it. Davio says Which, Laurel and Kaufman did it first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so obvious, too. And you know what? It was brilliant. Because everybody's having an internet finger spreading moment. You know? By the way, if if how did Don Rickles ever get through his entire career insulting people without getting slapped? You're you know right. why? Because they weren't smart enough to think about doing something like this. That's why. That's why. What are you gaining? Oh, by the way, oh, Big Fat Whale's bank account. Big I house. love the Big Fat Empty. Yeah, the Big Fat Whale's Empty Bank. Is back Boston Whale's. Welcome, buddy. There you go. Um... Why would you think you'd waste your time with a work? <laughs> what? What do you mean? They didn't waste their time. Cabillions more people are now paying attention to them currently. It added to their fame and notoriety. Cha-ching! Their fame. They're as famous as you can be. Oh, there's no such thing as that. You can always be more famous. And Vince would be the first one to tell you, Monty! I gotta disagree with ah, you well, on this that's one, okay. man. Well, that's okay. That's okay. All right, so... I smell work, but that's me. Suspend yeah, disbelief. It was hilarious. I suspend, did suspend, no, suspend disbelief. No, disbelief. It was yeah. a good slap. All right, hold on. There, he did a good job. You know? In the Pharaoh's mind, say, yeah. okay, it's real. Okay, I right? say it's real. What right does another man have to take the dignity of another man like that in front I of think an we, audience of millions? I think we both already know that if somebody did that to me live, I would destroy them. Do you think so Chris the Rock fact did that he a good just, job by He just stood that? there and just went, you know, D -d -d yeah, okay. You know, uh, Jeff, you want to chime in? You're shaking your head. The, what would oh, you... Maria Davis is saying Will was off balance. If you looked close, Chris played the work. Absolutely. He he, he sold that. And, and, the, and the throw was he actually He actually good. no sold it. He no I thought he, he sold stood it because he went with it. No, he didn't. He veered. Yeah, and then he the... popped right back up. Well, yeah, because you got to, you didn't want to lose anything. That, in that's, the called a, that's called an AEW no that was That was both the, the, the one lost face. Don't you get it? So it's a 50-50 booking. It's a 50-50 booking. 50, 50 booking. 50, 50 Absolutely. Booking. Jeff, what, would you, what did you want to say? You know, say what you want about me. Goof what you want about me. Yeah. Don't you ever talk about my wife. <laughs> or you're dead. Well, right. Let me, let me ask you a question, okay. Jeff. Okay. Yeah. You're in 
an award ceremony. There's a roaster. You're somewhat famous. You're the producer of Monty Nefaro. You're actually now famous. So you're there, <laughs> and the comedian makes fun of your wife. You're going to get upset? I'm going to put my finger up and let him know that it, that joke stops that's right not, now. That's, that's not what we – you're going to walk up there and smack him in the face, and you think you're not going to get smacked back if it's real? Well, let me ask you this. Yeah, I know. This well, a, what are we talking a... about here? You know, because you – sure, you could go up there. I believe you. That you could go up there and be like, don't say that slap. Hey, but look. the guy on the slapping end is just going to stand Jamie there. Jamie C. Like, you, you know, know Jamie C. A, you know, not you my know, world. You know Jamie C.? No. You already got a fan. Jeff is right. Oh, my God. I you agree already got with someone Jeff agreeing in, with you. I agree with Jeff go. in principle. There'll That's be more. what made this whole thing. You see, at the, at, the, at the bottom of a work has to be a great story. And that's a great story. Don't joke about my wife. Anyone can relate to that. What a brilliant work no. this and have, was. Here's and have you I heard? And, brilliant. Here's what I think. If brilliant. The, if, right, Matt? If, brilliant. If, if you are convincing me. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Maybe I could speak. Maybe I could speak for You're, one it second. Is Monty. Hold on. And the phone. Ahead, if bro. the other rock was on the stage and said the same thing to Jada ooh, Smith. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Will, Will Smith, Smith would have took his wife's hand and said, fuck you, and walked out of the right. Oscars. He's not walking up. Yes. The you know, so as right. much as you want to brag that you better not talk about my wife, that's talking to Chris Rock at five foot three. Right. If it's The Rock, yeah, you're not Jeff, getting, yeah, you're you'll not, probably go, you're not getting fuck up. you, don't talk to my wife that way. I'm leaving. And I'm leaving. And I'm leaving. The, Brock Lesnar, way. if Brock Lesnar's on that stage and he says raunchy shit to your wife, you going up on that stage no, and not, do something? I'm not going up on that stage. I may not slap him, but I might you, walk no, up you're to you're him. Slap you're not going him. up on that stage. You're not going up on that you're stage. Not you're not bullshitting anyone. In fact, you're going to cower in your chair like this. I'm leaving. But let's remember one other thing. One other thing. Chris Rock is all of his uh, next appearances. Yeah, they're all sold out. Of course they are. They're sold out anyway. <laughs> they would have been sold out anyway. Come on, man. either way. You Maria know? Davis is exact, Monty. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, all the tough guys. But here's the best part, though. Here's the best part. I'll defend my I, wife. I, 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 I'll I, defend my girlfriend. Again, I just think it should work. So at the end of the day, though, no matter what this was, if they're smart, they'll make a movie together. Just go make a movie together. Man, oh man, will you make a If Will Smith dollars? loses a, is Imagine that if they made a movie together and they should play detectives. If Will Smith loses his like Academy Award. always arguing with each if other. If he loses his Academy be... Award. Yeah. Is it a work still? Uh, no. I don't know. I don't no. know. That just means the Academy Award. What does that mean? That would be like Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductions. A couple of bands get in a fight and then the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame goes, you're both punished. Xavier Diaz says it was just a comedian stunt to get the popularity going. That's all. I think all. it was a whole work. That's Mitchell just, Products. Hey, Mitch, how are you, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. It was a big work. I think so, too. Rick Howard, if Chris Rock sold it, Jeff Hardy could have ran to the stage dancing. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Uh, anyway. Okay, okay. All right. Well, what other ridiculous stuff seems, it seems It seems that the theory is it's a work, but, you know, we always got to talk about my friend Whoopi Goldberg, who what? decides to defend the Academy's, the Academy's decision not to physically eject Will Smith after Chris Rock. Whoopi Goldberg on Thursday defended the Film Academy's decision to give Will Smith the option of leaving Sunday's o Oscars after the slap. Here's an option. Slap someone and sit down and I have bet a good you, time. I bet you Carol O'Connor would have been thrown out on his ass. Oh, yeah, you're let's you're not get into right. that there, Edith. Speaking about yeah. the Controversy on The View on Thursday. Goldberg, who serves as the Academy's Board Goldberg? of Governors. Yeah. Wait a minute. Gold no. Gordon oh. Whoopi, oh, Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, that's a lame Goldberg. Go ahead. Said she understands why Smith was why Smith was asked to leave the show rather than being told to exit the ceremony. So, Jeff, weigh in on that, Mr. New Producer. <laughs> Happy mic, Randy. As soon as he finds the mic. <laughs> I, don't, I don't talk about... Wait, no, no, no. I'm not talking about talking about Whoopi. <laughs> Why did the Academy about... tell Will Smith to leave? You know what? I was listening to this right before the show on, on the news, <laughs> and there are five different versions of what happened. I don't think we have long enough to hear these five. No, and I'm not going to go into it, uh, but please. everybody's got a different version of what went on, so... Yeah. Just leave it at that for now, and let's wait a week and see yeah. how many more that come up. Well, you know why I also, that's another reason why I think it's a work. Because remember when the garden, Madison Square Garden, removed Charles Oakley? Do you remember that? Yeah. That was not a work. That was real. This one's like, well, you could politely leave now.
Get the get out of here. This whole thing was set up. Well, <laughs> Chris Rock recalls his childhood, and, it, and the reason he said he didn't react is that he was pretty much conditioned okay. to this type of abuse How, because he was bullied his whole that's life. very deep. So, okay. again, if okay. this is this all work, Chris Rock is really putting himself over as sure this is. very soft yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if I'd like to take that role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And joining us on the couch is... Mr. Chris Patty. Chris, how are you? The owner of the Illustrial Indie Music TV. Hi, guys. Chris, do you want to weigh in on this? Farrow seems to think it was a work. I seem to think it was real. What are your thoughts? You asked. The whole thing is BS to me. I am <laughs> sick and tired of the woke left Hollywood all about themselves and nobody else mentality. I'm done with Hollywood. I'm done yeah. with this. Yeah. People are dying. They're dying in Ukraine, and we're talking about somebody getting hit. First of all, number <laughs> one, it's a total setup because he was le he was fine with it. Then all of a sudden, he wasn't okay with well, it. Well, Jada yeah. did give him the devil eyes. Oh yeah, that, okay. A, that was a bad sell. So let job. me tell you something. A friend of mine, Tanae Jackson, she's, I think she's actually Tito Jackson's daughter. Mm -hmm. She posted online something very interesting. African American woman, artist, well known said that a lot of women manipulate their men that way, that she wanted him to stand up for her, and that's why he, she gave him that look. And he was like, oh, I guess I better stand up for her. But that wasn't his initial reaction. I understand. His initial reaction was laughter. I told, that's why at first I thought it was work. But then I thought about it. How many times have I told you that my wife consistently tries to put me in a predicament to defend her? Mm -hmm. Right? So what you're bringing up is a really good point. The other thing I want to say is, let's not forget that Jada openly sleeps with other men. They have that agreement. That's right? it. So obviously, he's Will is a, real beat, he's a real beaten down. Of course puppy, he is. Right? Of course he is. But again, what right, if it's a work, got it. If it's not a work, what right do you have to take someone's manhood like that by slapping them in front of a million people? Well, a billion people. First of all, he should have immediately been removed. Because if you or I did that, we would have been escorted out by security. That's number one, okay? Number two, Chris Rock was an absolute gentleman. I don't think he could have possibly handled it any better. I would have smacked Will Smith if he did it to me. I would have said, what the F are you, what are you doing? Right. Hey, right. hey. All right, we grew up in New York. Maybe things are different here. But I thought Chris Rock was an absolute consummate gentleman. I give him nothing but respect. And guess who's laughing to the bank? Chris Rock, because his $100 ticks are now going for $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 to come see his performances now. He's laughing only way to the up. bank. So you know what? Well, I didn't know they Thank you, the Will price. Smith. Yeah. Uh, and he says, I don't want to talk. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. I will address it. Yeah, he said not, it. I think it was a show last now. night that he said this. His Bottom line is, is what are we talking about here? That the, the, a show that I grew up loving when I was a kid. It was just the Oscars were like a classy... You know, a, a, a like level in entertainment to aspire. It became to. very roasty. Now it's a sewer. Well, no, well, they became very roasty, right? They, 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 you know, look, they look. We're we're at fault. It's our generation at fault. We tortured every host they put on it. Oh, they're not good enough. Then Billy Crystal took over. Okay, we love Billy Crystal, and then he did it for I don't know how many years, and then someone else came in, and he didn't like them. They're constantly looking for this new, fresher host joking and that's what you got to expect in today's award ceremonies right i think it's a big fat sewer i don't want anything to do with it yeah. i just i don't watch it i'm not interested in it i think all these people do is pat themselves on the back while they drive around in their private jets mm -hmm. and complain about climate change mm -hmm. i've had it i don't want to know about it yeah. that's why i created indie music tv i want to be in my own little independent world where it's about the talent it's 802 about says integrity three, 802 no. says 300 a ticket it's going for okay well whatever it is it's uh, I've, I've heard up to a thousand I heard that on. I think I'm it was sure CNBC right now, today. with the recent events, I'm sure right. scalping is. You're going to well, get those higher numbers. My point is I'm that it, it's all about them patting each other on the back. It's not a, the integrity is gone out of the out of the the Oscars and and just just Hollywood in general.
So I, I tune out personally. Well, we got a lot more to talk about, so can you hang out on the couch for a little if bit? If you want before, me to, right? sure. I'd like to thank the, the, uh, the band that sings the theme song for Monty and Farrow, our own Jimmy Farrow, along with his partner, Bart Griggs. Make up the band Wisteria Hall. Wisteria Hall sings such great songs as In My Dreams. This Life, Not Far Behind, Here Comes the Rain. You can find their music on the Wisteria Hall YouTube page. Get them on Spotify, Apple Music, Reverb Nation, or where all music can be downloaded. Was I supposed to do the, you know, hey, Matt, you want to get on the mic and do Bartman one last time for us? It, it is his last show, after all. I figured we'd have. It would be my honor. All right, hit it, babe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if you didn't Bartman. know what you are watching, Long Thank Island's you, number one pro wrestler broadcast, Monty and the Catch Monty and the Farrow on the Monty and the Power Farrow YouTube page, Facebook Live page, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Anchor, the Monty and the Farrow Twitch TV page. If you're lucky enough to live in New York, you get to see us on Channel 115 every Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. and Saturday at 11.30 p.m. again Saturday Night Live. And Channel 20 at Tuesdays at 1 a.m. where over 100,000 viewers see us weekly. We hit it. We want to again say thank you to Amazon Music for putting us on. And there's some other future endeavors coming on, hopefully, that we'll be able to announce shortly. We're very excited for We'll be right back with the owner of the station, Mr. Chris Patty, obviously the star of the show, Mr. Jimmy Farrow, uh, the new producer, Jeff, and maybe he could keep his mouth shut for a little while, and me. We'll be right back with what we call, we would rather be a nobody than be an evil somebody. We'll see you in a sec. Jimmy, I just got the best hookup on tickets. Hmm, fill me in. I went to www.seatslinks.com and ordered the best tickets with the best prices. Call 718-676-0504. Seatslink, the complete ticket experience. Tell them Charles sent you. In the mood for a freshly roasted cup of coffee? www.offtherailscoffeeroasters.com All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast. You are watching Monty and the Pharaoh. Yeah. So, for fans out there, the Peacock, the WWE, I don't want to call it the WWE. Happy WWE. WrestleMania weekend, everybody! Yeah, Far Farrow's, Farrow's, having, Farrow's having a meltdown. Yeah. Must, must speak about wrestling. Must talk arm bars, WrestleMania. Go ahead. WWE <laughs> came out with, on Peacock, something called, a series called Evil. And you sprung a boner. Because you love this shit. I love it. You love this shit. Go ahead. And, uh, you know, we'll talk about it a little later on the show, but... I was thinking to myself, oh God, evil, like wrestling evil. evil. And I was struggling to come up with wrestlers who I thought were evil. Like on screen characters or off no, screen? On screen. You can't on do the screen off screen characters. stuff. There's right? some obvious yes. ones. On yes. screen characters. Okay. Now that but we've established that. In between all that, yeah. I'm at home last Saturday night. Me and a wife are watching HBO, and I put on something called Phoenix Rising. It's about uh, Evan Rachel Wood. You Evan Rachel Wood. She was the actress, the daughter from The Wrestler. She was a star oh, of 13. Oh, she was good. She's an incredible She was in actress. The Wrestler? Chris, are you... Yeah, she was good. familiar, yeah. Yeah. She's so, really good. And Phoenix yeah. Rising is the latest category of abuse documentaries. Uh-oh. The two-part the two part film streaming on HBO Max brings a startling light to the abusive relationship that actor Evan Rachel Wood claims she endured at the hands of rocker oh, no. Marilyn, Manson, Marilyn Manson, including severe physical abuse, okay. psychological abuse, right. and the really four-letter word, rape. Right. The sexual violence occurred at least one time on camera, Wood alleges, filmed on for Manson's music video, Heart-Shaped Glasses, when Wood was too drugged by him to consent. What he promised her was it was supposed to be simulated okay, sex. Okay. But when the camera started to roll, he penetrated her. He did it for real. And he had sex with her on camera. Okay. Which really affected her career. Right. And she point. was high as a kite when this was happening, right? That is correct. Okay, okay. So he you? literally raped her. Right. Um, 
this this relationship goes on for nearly five years of mental abuse. Five years of this. Drinking, forcing the drink of blood, drinking of blood, whipping, locking away, keeping her away from her family, and feeding her drugs. Um, so I, I'm sitting on the couch watching this, and, and I'm shocked, okay, okay, because I really did respect her a lot as a, um actress. And honestly, uh, I actually enjoyed some of Marilyn Manson's music. Okay. And I started feeling dirty that I, you know, because remember when Columbine happened, they interviewed Manson because they kind of were blaming Manson for the Columbine. I and he was interviewed on it. And he basically, his famous line there was, uh, if those kids had someone to talk to, maybe right. this wouldn't have happened. Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Right. But you, you kind of find out that Marilyn Manson's a, a Nazi. Right. He's he's just a piece of From shit. From the things you were learning in the documentary, and, and, which and, I did not see. And what kind of sick shit does someone do to another human? You know, this goes beyond the Will Smith thing now. Right. Now it's like you're taking a person. And let's not forget, their relationship started. He was 35. She was 18. Are you surprised at Ma Marilyn Manson's behavior? Were you really that surprised? Because I have to be honest, I am a hardcore realist, really hardened individual. And when I look at Marilyn Manson, I see a successful psycho. That's what I see. And I don't really like his music much, but that doesn't matter. Uh, he's clearly, the things that he is, as far as his showmanship, deeply bleed into how he is as a spirit. This is a fucked up dude. I'm not surprised that he did these sorts of things, allegedly, you know, when I hear them. Um, you surprised? Yeah, I am. Why? I got to say that, Go you know, my thing with these kinds of, I don't want to say accusations. I don't know what other word to use. Yeah, everything is an accusation until it's proven. By the obviously. way, she had this documented. She kept memoirs the whole time. If there's video of that incident, there is she a video was of actually that incident. penetrated. It's, a, it's an actual video. Jail. Goodbye. He's done. Mm -hmm. He's finished. And he should be immediately. If that's the case, then that's the case. The problem is, you know, <laughs> it's very prevalent in entertainment. Yep. It's like you have drugs, the physical drugs, then yep. you have the mental drugs, you have the dopamine that yep. happens when you're famous and everybody's kissing your mm -hmm. ass oh, yeah. and you become, That's everybody high. yeses you, yeses you, yeses you. That's a high. It's literally a high and it's just like doing a heroin or any other type of opioid where when you take it away, they become desperate for it. Oh, yeah. And this is why a lot of celebrities go, like I always use, better, better ruined. You know, they're going, they're doing well, they're doing well, and it happened. Will Smith, perfect example. Why he's got the open marriage, right? Well, it's the cool thing to do. And but wait, wait, wait. In you're whose a life? In whose yeah. life? In whose life have you been taught that it's okay to rape somebody? It's not. It's like, in whose mentality do you have the right? You know, again, when do you have the right to slap someone? When do you have the right to rape somebody? It's all wrong. It's all wrong, but the yeah. problem is that it's slow. It's like they say, you know, the devil works in mysterious ways, and it's over time. These people they get involved in these things, and they get in these situations, and a little bit more is okay, a little bit more is okay. And it's amazing over time what happens that when they go from here to here, it's amazing what they, they're now accepting in their lives, whether it's been their private lives or whatever. They get away with murder, right? They, they'll, 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 parking tickets, uh, moving violations. All right. They're famous. So they get away with everything. I'm going to challenge you guys, both of you guys, with a very hard question, but I want you to hear what I'm saying to you. Is Marilyn Manson just as bad as Adolf Hitler was? And I'll give you my reason why I say this, and I want you guys to retort. Hitler played to a huge, massive audience. Manson, not so much. My belief, if Manson would do that to women, and there were other women making these accusations too in this documentary, by the way, if he could have the power of an Adolf Hitler, what would have stopped him? So you guys weigh in. Tell me what you think. Is that a stupid comment? You, Jimmy, there are you different go first? There are different, to me, there are different degrees of madness, just like there are different degrees of many other things in life. Adolf Hitler, I go by the back of the baseball card. The back of the baseball card says that Adolf Hitler was absolutely more evil at the end of the day than Charles Manson. That's just a statistic. But he I'm had more opportunity, That's right? That's just a statistic I'm throwing at right, you. Right, gotcha. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm, so I'm doing first the numerical breakdown. Gotcha. Adolf Hitler is probably one of the all-time greats as far as psycho, lunatic bastards, but I think Genghis Khan holds the record when it comes to body counts. Could be wrong. 
but you can look it up. And that's the point that I wanted to. There's different degrees of lunatics. Uh, answer to leaving off with what on what you just said, mm -hmm. Jimmy, is we're weighing evil like the back of a baseball card. How like messed like up an is ERA that? ERA average or something. Yeah. I don't. I mean, yeah. to me, it's like is murdering one child. Right. Okay. Evil is compared evil. to murdering fifty children. Right. It's all wrong. Right. And I don't know that you can say that. Maybe you can say because he didn't. It is all did, um, that Marilyn Manson didn't affect as many people in a negative way as obviously Hitler did. Right. I don't know if that's. I mean, is that is that a valid question? Does it matter, Mike? Does it really says, they're both Davio evil says, bastards. Davio Davio I'm says sorry. Good point, Farrow. Yeah. Well, again, my answer is not definitive. I was showing the back of the baseball card as one aspect of the person's Chris, lunacy. But <laughs> the book of the points. I agree. Joseph you know, Stalin. But what I'm trying to say is, is Stalin, there's what another, I'm, there's what another I'm, Hall what of Famer. What I'm trying to say is hey. we're having this conversation. And you're like, hey, Mike, but, you know, in this industry or this industry, people get famous and all of a sudden they take a little more and a little more and a little more. But eventually when you keep taking more, you're Adolf Hitler. Right. You just didn't get sure. that chance. He was a man of peace. A piece of Poland, a piece of Czechoslovakia, a piece of... Yeah, sure. I, I get it. I totally get it. Um, and you know what? I the also think that... that I'm sorry, Chris. I think that Marilyn Manson has very powerful attorneys. I've said this to you off the record. I have a feeling that Marilyn Manson might be untouchable, quite honestly, in this particular battle. You're talking about a, a Hollywood actress against Marilyn Manson. Something tells me Marilyn Manson's little power camp is very powerful. In this particular situation, I think it's going to go away. Well, I I, I, I don't know why, but that's how that's a my lot of things do. Read. Without yeah. getting into you know the Biden exactly. laptop and everything else that's going you know? on, a laptop. I mean, things go away if it's, it's the he, right people it, with the right connections. You're right, right about that. Yeah. I don't know enough about him and his right. political clout right. in the business and right. how much money he has and how. He, yeah, yeah, anybody can fight anything. Yeah. So you I'll, 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 throw the, I'll throw this at obviously. you. So you clearly have Hitler who had people murder. Millions, oh, right? Oh. Manson, we're already Manson saying, was, again, yeah. you're, we're saying hypothetical. Your friendly neighborhood I, I, lunatic. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's throw Howard Stern into the mix. Howard what? never. Hold on, give hey, me a chance. Hey, it's me, it's Howard. Howard, Howard, Howard numerous times have abused people so much that they've actually killed themselves over what Dana, he has Dana said. Dana Plato? Dana, wait, 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 is that true? I don't that know really if that's true? true. Absolutely. Dana Plato was on there, and Howard allowed people to call in that's and rough. attack her. I know her. she was And very, you know what? The yeah, next that's rough. day, that's she rough. took her life. That is rough. That is rough. So what's the difference between him and who Charles that, Manson? Charles <laughs> Manson manipulated people, too. Yeah. Howard is one of the great manipulators Charlie, of all time. Charlie did cut off the ear of Shorty Shea, though, with a sword. So it's not like he, he didn't... My point you know, is... He tied up is the La Biancas to show so them how to do it There's so many different right. levels of evil. You know? Am I, is it out of control to say, that that was made in fun? This right. was right. this. Right. This was that. Hey, why don't we just cut to the chase? If, if he really did this, he should be castrated live on television. How about that? He should be in prison for the rest of his life. Luce Cannon says Stalin Hands killed down. more people. That's true, too. So Stalin, Stalin, like Stalin I said, me. again, I think Genghis well, Khan's got the all-time kill before. count. But, uh... but I'm, I personally, I, I, it's not about a body count for me. Right. It's about, it's all evil. Right. And yeah, evil they need evil. to be dealt with. Yeah. Yeah, you know, by society. Yeah, you know, and the that's good, it. And for whatever it's worth, the good book says that, that there's no discerning between levels of evil. By the way, and Kevin, just, Kev evil is evil. Kevin so, says Jeff, I wasn't going to bring Jeffrey that up. Yeah. Right. No, you're it's right. true. Kevin you're says Jeffrey Epstein right. and Harvey Weinstein. Now, I'll say one oh, thing. I will God. say one thing about Weinstein. Uh, what? That's a man that Ugh. just used his power, right, to get what he wanted. He used his power for his poker. He oh, used his power. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that is despicable. Right? Yeah, oh, I think yeah. what oh, Harvey what Weinstein did was as despicable what as what any evil yeah. person on this planet oh, has yeah. ever done. Yeah, oh yeah. Power, fame, money, that d human greed, lust, yeah. it's a slippery slope. Yeah. You know, and that's why I said, you know, it's these people that slowly get, I've seen people go that route over 30, 40 years, and it's a little bit every day, and then all of a sudden you turn around. If you don't look in the mirror every day and ask, who the hell am I? And am I, doing, is the, am I making the world a better place than it was when I got here? People that don't ask that question, then they just wind up wrapping themselves around their own hype and what people say. And, you know, people who listen to all the negative, yeah, they wind up killing themselves. They wind up on antidepressants like 80% yeah. of the world, yeah. right? Yeah. But people that, you know, that don't and that just, they, they just go blindly forward with their lusts and, the, and their desires and stuff, they start compromising more and more and more and more. And when the more power they get, the more they get away with it. Yeah. It's really like an inverse yeah, it's, proportion it's of what up. happens. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the biggest politicians in the world, they get away with everything. Right. Right.
Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, to me and personally, I, I, I just don't think, I don't understand what goes through people's minds, and I don't care how powerful you are. Yeah. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing godly I mean, about does, taking advantage of another human being. What about, does Russia really need the Ukraine? What are you doing? These young people are dying right now. What are we doing here? To me, that's a different That's situation. it, but that's evil too. It is evil, yes. It's like, hey, you know, I think I'll just go in and it's take evil. the Ukraine. It's Look e at the size of that minute, country. What's it going might be, on? It might be evil in a way that we're looking at it, right. but maybe, maybe, I'm just saying the Russian people are like, man, we're starving over here. We need more. We need more. And maybe in their mind... No, yeah. Michael, they know no, that they're only going to alienate them from the rest of the world no, and it. from the Western yeah. world and the from Russian the pipeline of money and food and commodities. Yeah. That doesn't help the Russian people. Yeah. Everything that Vladimir Putin yeah. is doing is hurting everybody, and it's hurting him the most, whether he realizes it or not. It's not a good he's thing. finished. It's not a good he's thing. He's finished because if he wins the war, he's finished. If he loses the war, he's finished. Right. He it's picked a fight a yeah. with a country. He had no idea what he was getting himself into, number one. And number two, for what? For what? He had Crimea. He got away with that. Right. He has to know. Was he going to go to Poland next? Oh, no, that's, boy. That's, now we're talking World War III. No, what is it? Now, now you're talking World how, War III. You know, you say if Poland, we're not already what, in Ukraine World War III. doesn't deserve no, any right. humanitarian right. respect. Right. I was like, oh, well, Poland. He has you know, this I mean, twisted idea that he wants to go back 100 years as to what the Soviet yeah. Socialist Republic mm -hmm. was 100 years USSR. ago. USSR, yeah. That's over. Yeah. The world is not the same place it was 100 years no, ago. That's never going to happen. No, and our toys are a lot more dangerous now. Right. Yeah. We'll be right We'll be right back and oh, yeah. uh we're gonna get into a little wrestling for the last really? minutes so you'll be happy about that whoa whoa wrestle me no we'll be right back with i'd rather a be a nobody than an evil somebody see you in a second you're hired and APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. The Monty and the Pharaoh Show is brought to you by... Because wine is your second favorite four-letter word. California wine, New York attitude, good fucking wine. Yeah. And Nitro's Garage for all your automotive needs. Call 646-675-2349. That's 646-675-2349. For all your automotive needs, Nitro's Garage, ask for Jack. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast, Monty Nefaro, only seen here out of Indie Music TV, where we're celebrating the... Celebrating? Well, I want to celebrate because of our thankfulness for Matt, and this is I'm, his last I'm night. actually very melancholy about it. It's this. sad, but it's also I'm, celebrating. I'm, I'm, number I'm, one, he's going on to bigger and better things, and number two... He was an integral part of growing he this was. show for us, so it, it is somewhat of a celebration. Yeah, and we're also celebrating the fact that uh, Jeff's at the board. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk. Oh let's, my God, let's he's going to throw something this way. It's going to happen. I, let's I can talk see about it. WWE God. evil. So yeah, we talked okay. about real evil. That's not WrestleMania. Right? I want to talk about WrestleMania. All right, talk about so your anyway, documentary. Epi episode one. Episode one is Hogan. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The name of the show is Evil? Evil. Yes. And the first one is about Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan. Okay, go ahead. So when Hulk turns bad, oh, right? Oh. Uh, evil? It's, it's actually really... But like, again... Like Dracula, Frankenstein, Michael Myers evil? What sort of evil are we talking what is, about? What does evil mean to you? Evil to me is nefariously, dastardly, and scares the shit out of right. me. Not, Hulk Hogan never not, scared the shit out of me. Not like... Like this is, but this is more of like the documentary is fantastic. Okay, okay, well that's good. But it's more like bad guy. It should be called bad guy. Bad guy. Yeah, that would have been better. Right. Not Instead of evil. E right. Evil's right. like evil. Yeah, but does evil? Evil has a ring though. It's more marketable than bad guy. Well, it's pretty marketable. But anyway, yeah. I recommend episode one. The Hogan one actually brought me to tears because it was such a wonderful, Dude, Hogan wonderfully. Dude, farting done. would bring us to tears. We okay, love great. Hogan. Episode two, which I'm gonna rate. <laughs> it's it's the Miz. Yeah. Um, the Miz is evil? The Miz. With that stupid show with his wife? That is so not evil. That's ridiculous. That episode is like, Hi, okay. I'm evil. Wait, wait. You're not <laughs> evil. What well, you know, he's been a bad guy a long time. So what? 
I've been a bad guy my whole life. I'm more evil than him. The Miz is not evil. That's terrible. Episode three. <laughs> so anyway, awful. the Miz one, I recommend. Did you it's, like it's, it? It was okay. It was, good. It was okay. why is he evil? Why were you convinced? So wait a minute. I were wasn't you, convinced he was evil. Were you convinced evil? Hogan was evil at the end of the Hogan uh, if, one? If you were comparing him to some of the other ones, I was yeah. like, right. I'm gonna, you're going to be shocked who I really thought was evil. But, okay. okay. All, right. Um, All right. But you didn't necessarily walk I out I didn't walk going, wow, out going, evil. Hogan's evil. No. Okay. Okay. So I, was, I walked out going, holy shit, Hogan had one hell of a career. Yeah, of course he did. I walked out of the Miz one saying, you know what? Got to give the guy, like, I always looked at him as a little bit of a joke. Right. He's, he's more than a joke. He's a Hall of Famer. Oh, he's, yeah. He's and, done a great uh, job. He's he been has. an ultimate bad guy. He evil? Has. Hell oh, yeah. no. No, he's not evil. Episode three was Sasha Banks. But this one I don't understand at all. What is so evil Here's about what Sasha I understand Banks? about Sasha With Banks. With that tushy? There's no way she could There's be evil. no evil in There's Sasha There's no evil Banks. in that tushy. And I say that. ESO like, says Miz does not deserve an evil show. Yeah, what is it's true. that? That is That's true. A, 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 yeah. Sasha. Sasha's tushy. I'm stuck. <laughs> I, I, I didn't like. I didn't like the Sasha. Though. Why is she evil? Explain. She's not even evil. It was just slut. Was oh, it when she picked on the Bailey fan or something? There was some the kid. Bailey fan. Yeah, the Bailey. That's the Bailey yeah, fan. Yeah. Why? Wow, that was so evil. It was her. like you know. She's evil. I don't understand. All right. Then were the brothers of destruction. Okay, now we might be getting at least a little somewhere on character. Uh, right. We've got the Undertaker and Kane, the brothers from the pits of hell. Right. Okay, fine. I, I'm going to give that one a pass. You're going to give us some evil? Uh, you, if you don't give it to Undertaker and Kane, what are you really looking for? Really not evil, though. Satan himself to come out in a dog collar match? But again, when, when I see the Undertaker, well, again, when the Undertaker first came out, they Wait showed a, a lot of... Dog collar match, Satan versus Vince. Oh, my God, that'd be fantastic. That would be, that match would be fire. But the one thing you forget, when The Undertaker came out, we, we were older. But the kids' faces yeah. that they filmed, those kids looked like they were going to shit a brick. Yeah, yeah, they were going to shit a brick. I forgot all about yeah, that. Yeah, I forgot so about that. So maybe there too. was some evil there. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll recommend The Brothers of Destruction. Yeah, they're evil. Yeah. Then came Randy Orton. Legend Killer, yes. Um, well, I'm thinking about. Yeah, so says worst episode, Undertaker and Kane. I'm going to go with Sasha on that. No, I'm going to oh, go with, yeah, I'm going with Sasha on that's that. That's fine. One. There's got to be. Uh, how about the reasons why they thought that that was the worst episode? I'm interested. Uh, uh, I actually, I, I, Sasha. Luz Cannon says Sasha's a bad, bad girl. She's a bad girl. She no, she yeah, bad. That, that tushy. Um, this <laughs> tushy. I, I'm trying to keep the it word clean. Tushy. Jeff, do you use the word tushy? Hey, I'm trying to keep it clean, folks. All right. He, see, he used it. Wait a minute, Heine. How about that? That that Heine. <laughs> this is really. Uh, no. no, not pooper scooper. Gross. What are you gonna do? What's next? Dumper? Well, what a dumper. That is good. The dumper is terrible. By the way, I got a problem. I'm gonna I ask the fans out there. Could someone of... tell me? And maybe you can, wrestling expert. <clears throat> I am not. When a did everybody expert. start using the word? That was a banger of a match. Like everybody's don't new you word know is what that's, banger. You what know, is that? Don't you know where that comes? No, from? No, where is that, it from? That's from across the pond, and now these dopey Americans have decided to start hate using it. it. Oh, Shit. that match was I, a banger! I'll tell, I'll tell you why you hate it because everybody's jumping aboard something that belongs in England because it sounds great coming off of their tongues and it sounds right coming. Oh, from so them. you really do know the origin of banger? The, it, it's the English, and I dig the English. Let them do their thing and leave it out of your vocabulary. That okay? match was a banger. Yeah. You know, when they call it a banger, yeah, it's cool. But not, you know, oh, that match was a banger. Shut up, Evan. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, what the, what the freak, bro? You know? <sighs> oh, hey, my God. Anyway, man. go ahead. Stop it. Randy Orton. Okay, can we get back to Randy Orton evil? So there's a point where Randy Orton, like, he's... Do you remember what he did to Bray Wyatt's house? Yeah. But yeah, that was evil. Hear me out. At the beginning... <laughs> Randy Orton is normal. He's talking, but he puts himself into character, and he, yeah. he shows you how he gets himself into character. Mm -hmm. Randy Orton's psycho. So Randy Orton, <laughs> again, psycho. very good episode. It was yeah. a very good episode. I think he's episode. closer to evil than any of these people. No. In real, in real I'm going to tell you, no. Oh, here comes the kid, the breadwinner? The here comes breadwinner. the truly evil one. Stephanie McMahon. Why am I not surprised? She, that was evil. She'll get you and your little dog, too. Oh, you ain't kidding, dude. And the best thing about the documentary, you watch Stephanie's breast grow. <laughs> It's like <laughs> during the episode. During the episode, like she's sitting in a chair and they're like, "No, then, not like that." I <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but it's like I would love that. Yeah. No, frame by frame, slowly I turn, <laughs> step by step, inch by inch. Hey, put those breasts away, How far are you gonna make a You're breast fired. this big? What? How big yeah, they should breast? be like you know, over the boulder shoulder holders. What? Oh my what? God! Stop. 
Uh, oh, I think it's my. only a shoulder boulder holders, but that's another story. Anyway. They actually should make what? a documentary on Stephanie's breasts, they like should. year by year. Uh, you know what? Each one would take at least two hours. You could have a left breast documentary, two hours, and a right <laughs> breast. And the left and the right disagree e- oh extremely. They have different takes because it's the left breast and the right. And then it ended Never up. Never mind. Then it ended Go up ahead. with Roman Reigns, which ended up being a very Roman popular. Reigns is evil? I got to tell you, dude. What's evil about a guy who overcame leukemia and is a family man behind the scenes? Roman Reigns was hated, dude. By who? Everybody. What, you mean every independent, loving nerd on the internet? Dude, but like, what is that? I forgot community? how much hate that guy. Even after, oh God, he was hated. after he got back from leukemia, like the match right. after they. Boom! Boom! Die! Yeah, yeah these people are fucked up. It, yeah, well, it wasn't fucked. like that, but it was it like was it? You know, it was like once they knew he was okay, then they okay. just booed him. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! You're all right. You're boo. right. Boo! I wow. hate you. Yeah, exactly. Wow, what a fan base. Anytime. Ugh. <laughs> I don't think he's evil. How the fuck does he come out evil? You know what? The only ones were the were Undertaker and Kane, as far as their cat. Well, Stephanie's played a pretty evil bitch over the years. So why was she so evil? Evil, like, like what made it, besides her ever growing boobies? They went into the origin of it, like where her they, boobies? she was just, no, her. she was going to be sacrificed by the Undertaker, and then Vince came out. And, okay, but anyway, is this when they crucified I, Orson on that? Terrible, let's let's break it into Roman terrible. Reigns. What? Roman Reigns yeah. now, in my right, opinion, is in the top five greatest pro you wrestlers really, in history. You really have lost your mind with Roman Reigns. What's going on here? You disagree? He's clearly, no, I don't disagree with it because it's your opinion. I think that Roman Reigns is the greatest of his w, of the WWE generation that he's been with. He's obviously the greatest. He's been well, booked the By the, the way, greatest. Davio doesn't like Banger. He had the most success. Slobber Knocker. Okay. Slobber Knocker. I, I like. love Slobber Knocker. I always like Slobber Knocker. Oh, yeah, so, uh, oh, you know, I forgot about the Ric Flair one. Oh. The Ric Flair one He's was... He's probably more evil than all of them. Uh, dude, it was just, this was just like a, he, it was like a documentary yeah, of the wrestler. what is this? It wasn't like, I don't know, the Ric Flair you one probably was, it was good. Know. I like Flair documentaries. Wow, what Flair's makes you sit and watch weird. one documentary after another? I can't stop. What is it? I love it. Wow. I've been that way with the old Garden and Spectrum matches lately. I just sit and watch watch Garden and Spectrum matches from 40 years ago. Watching Baron Mikel Cicluna? I mean, come on, dude. Really? Hey! I got my... His heroic role of quarters. Dude, how did we even like wrestling back then? What was wrong with us? What? (laughs) What was wrong? A lot was wrong with us, but look at us now. That's a major problem, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's rough. All right. Tribal Chief. uh, Phil wants to know, Tribal Chief or Cowboy Brock? Well, you're going to have to watch this week in pro wrestling. Tomorrow yeah, that's that's out. true, Phil. That's Phil, true. We're not going to reveal. It what, looks like we did most we, of our we, WrestleMania we, talk on this week in wrestling. So right. definitely check that. But out, there's some guys. good storylines that we believe are going to come out of this. Man, oh man, and I, I think, think you guys are going to love them to do. Oh my God, Ooh, you, you guys might something. want us to write for the WWE. I think they would, this. honestly. You know. All right, so I'm going to hit you with this, Mr. Wrestling Expert. You ready? Would you stop calling me that? When you think of evil wrestlers, yeah. Give me a real evil wrestler. Look, growing up. The really, truly evil ones were the ones we didn't get to see. Because remember, we would get the magazines, and you would leaf through these, and you would look at guys you can't see. I thought Abdullah the Butcher was an absolute murderer. That's good. That's you good know, one. looking at Abdullah, the original Sheik, every time covered in blood. Abdullah, covered in blood. These crazy matches that these guys would do. Uh, a loose cannon like Maniac Mark Lewin, I thought was insane. You know, it de- it really depended. Honestly, the early days of Kevin Sullivan, I thought he was damn evil too. You know, the early days of Kevin, before it got real big, big. Yeah, you know, I guess like you're he right, was like dude. Kevin Sullivan in Florida Championship Wrestling before he was a household household name. You know, in the wrestling circles, man, oh man, was he evil, dude. Luce is get bringing up a good point. Yeah, he says Flair's an egomaniac and, yeah. is, and is out of control. Sure, we were talking about that sure. over dinner. Sure, I agree, Luce. I think Ric Flair. Is really proving that he might be a real shit heel, dude, in real life. Now, we had Baby Doll in here. She seemed to have adored Rick. Yeah, can I sound jaded? Go I ahead. really don't give a shit either way. I mean, to me, it's just as long as we never find out that he murdered or raped or whatever, he wanted to be a wild man and other people did wild things with him and around him, that's his rock star life business. That's how I see that. Ric Flair's a rock star. I cannot expect to be offended by extreme stories. If I hear something about Mick Jagger, it's not going to stop me from listening to Get Off My Effing Cloud. You know what I mean? Chris Steve says so, he loved our interviews with Abdul the Butcher. Abdul the Butcher is awesome, and he's hilarious, too. And I love how people, some people get in an uproar. They're expecting that stupid, boring interview type thing, and then Abdul and we're going back and forth. Abdul is great. Rick Howard says evil equals Sullivan. Sullivan was the man. 
when it came to evil. Yeah, but now we know him, and it's like... I love him as a person. I think he's like, great. Like, I, I can't to, see him as evil I, anymore. I actually, he probably sees me as alcoholic evil after the last time we had him in. Man, was I shit-faced. Anyway. Uh. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. 802 says, yeah, Madden really had a lot to say. I keep it... I, yeah, I heard that uh, earlier today. You know what? Just for the record, too, fuck Madden. All right. Why? I thought I I fucking don't like Madden. I've always thought he's a big fat blowhard. It is hilarious that I'm saying that. Huh, folks, me, DeFaro. But I think he's a big fat fucking blowhard. I never liked him as an announcer. I thought he was shit. And he was he was very fortunate to do a podcast with Ric Flair. Now he's gonna talk shit? Shut the fuck well, up. Well, Rick treated him like shit. Well, that's the way it goes. Maybe he was a douchebag to Rick. How do we know? I'm gonna side with the fact that he probably irritated wow. the fuck out of Ric Flair. You know, but that's just me. I could be wrong. If if so, I apologize, Mr. Matt. Phil says not a Richard fan. Morgan Fleer disappeared mm -hmm. long ago. Ric Flair remains. Right, of course, of course. Davio says most evil manager Gary Hart. Gary Hart was so. Gary evil. Hart was. Gary evil. Hart was great. He was evil. He was. He was a big dude too. You realize how yeah, big yeah, he, he was? was like big six dude. five or some deal. shit. He was a big and a tough guy too. Kevin says the Ministry of Darkness. Yeah, that was evil. Does it? Both Stone Cold and Stephanie were sacrificed to take his logo. Yeah, man. That shit I was lame, that. dude. It was stupid. That shit was so it was stupid. Not, and you know what's funny? So ECW stupid. did it so much better with a $1 bill <laughs> with Sandman and Raven. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. You know? You could have all the production in the world. Those those crucifications were not only insulting, they, they look stupid. By the way, Madden you on Flair, you know what he said? That Rick doesn't talk to Triple H anymore. Doesn't talk to Sean anymore. Interesting. Doesn't talk Who to said this? his son David. Because I'm not so sure he's, he doesn't I, talk to his son David anymore. Really? Why? How does a father not talk to his son? What is he mad about his WCW character or something? <laughs> you were awful. Woo! Oh my God! David Flair was terrible. What does that have to do with his son? Nothing. I'm just saying he was terrible. You're gonna defend. You're I'm gonna not defend Flair. Flair. You're defending Flair. Well, you know. It's, it's, no. Why am I defending Ric Flair? And how do you know he's not talking to David? What is this anyway? That's what Madden said. Hey, good Lord. All right, guys, I want to thank you for joining Here's us. We want to talk said. about some upcoming events what on April 21st. Okay. Tell me what you think. Oh, man. In studio this, together. No, this can't be real. Greg the Hammer Valentine. This can't be real. And Tito Santana Arriba! together in wow, studio. Man, that's, we've had Tito in twice, and we've had Greg in once, but now we right. have them together. Right. What are your thoughts on that, and what do you feel? How do you think this interview is going to go? What are my thoughts on the fact that we're putting together two of the greatest intercontinental champions who had one of the greatest intercontinental feuds when the intercontinental title truly meant something, that we're going to have the two of them together on the couch when no one does this? Yeah. What are my feelings on this? Haruba! <laughs> They're going to have some good fucking wine. This is going to be good. And I'm not drinking this time, by the way. You better not. I am not. Mr. And Wonderful. you're not either. Mr. Wonderful Wise says guy. Dynamite Kid was evil in real life. Hells yeah. He sure sounded like it. Sure Dude, sounded. I cannot wait for Valentine's Day. That's, That's insane. That's just absolutely That's like a insane. legitimate dream you, interview together. You know together. what Greg Valentine means to me? And Tito has yep. been a good friend of and the then, show. And uh, then May 6th. No. Jesse the Body Ventura uh, in studio. This is one of those things that I won't believe in until I see him walk in. So Farrell <laughs> and I... In, I'll be like, holy shit. Farrow and I Jesse speak Ventura. a lot about... Um, like, I grew up when we started watching wrestling together. Um, I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. The, That's okay. Just talk. don't forget the, your, not, your Hall of Fame favorite. I will, but okay. I'm not there yet. Okay. Um, so Farrell always said, you know, he always says he wants to interview Morocco because of me, because when I was we growing up, you Morocco, Morocco, I love Morocco. Oh, God. Um, since Morocco's been on the internet so long, I kind of lost interest. And honestly, I lost <laughs> interest in him way before that. Okay. But Jesse Ventura has always been Morocco. in my top five favorites. Sure. Uh, as a wrestler, sure. as an announcer, yeah. I friggin' love Jesse Ventura. So for me personally, this is just, um, this just about is, the top of the mountain. This is as pretty close. The top of the mountain. You know, the only thing that could top this, this is, really, is maybe Hogan. Hogan would, for you and I, uh, lightning could hit me in the parking lot afterwards. I'd be like, that's cool, brother. <laughs> I, I How do you feel about Ventura, though? You interviewed Hulk Hogan. I can go now. Goodbye. You know. How do you feel about Ventura? I'm almost speechless when I realized that what we just said. Oh, we're, Jason Moaning says yeah. Jesse's toupee was in Running Man was evil. <laughs> that was evil, too. <laughs> Jason, that's pretty funny, dude. That that toupee was pretty evil. I bet the toupee ran faster than the com the competitors. Rick Howard, thank you, Rick. What? Rick Howard says, I'm going to read this. And Rick, thank you. What is this? Morocco's interviews are boring <laughs> on that <laughs> English guy's channel. <laughs> Pat Patterson is boring. 
Are you saying that Morocco? Oh, Don, Don. <laughs> don't you start well, Remember the time Please don't do a British in 1983 where you had red shoelaces. What made you wear the red shoelaces? Uh, well, um, <laughs> I got up one morning and <laughs> my white shoelaces broke. So I bought some red shoelaces. Don, that's so wonderful. Thank you. And then that stupid wave music plays. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. Oy. And also on May 6th, we've got Coco Beware, who will be singing with Wisteria Hall. You in the wrong tune! Hall of Famer. <laughs> and Tommy Wildfire Rich. Yeah, yeah. Tommy Rich, my good buddy Tommy Rich. All right, if you didn't know, you're watching Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty DeFaro. Catch us on the Monty DeFaro YouTube page, the Monty DeFaro Facebook Live page here on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Anchor. Catch us on Channel 115 every Tuesday at 9.30 and Saturday at 11.30. Again, Saturday Night Live and Channel 20 at 1 a.m. 1 a.m. I personally want to thank Matty Ice for his diligence. Matty! And, yes, and for all he's done for this show. We're going to miss you. Uh, Farrell, any final words? Uh, no, Matt, Matt, Matt says goodbye first. Go ahead, Matty. Say, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> oh, it's like well, so long. <laughs> what are you going to say, No, no uh, goodbye, everyone. Uh, this was truly an awesome journey to, to like learn the show, to learn the guys, to how they speak, and to, to just go along with all the different wrestlers to see them meet some people that they've been super excited and talked about for a long time some people they didn't expect to be you know, so great and now are excited to see them again it's it's just been a, a, a blast being here seeing all the passion so i bet you'll never look at pro wrestling the same way again huh oh uh, no definitely not <laughs> definitely not or ever or ever no all i right. i think i think pro wrestling i'll, I'll see around i'll be like I know a thing or two about that. You know yeah, thing I would two. think you know if you've well, met, you met a few it's, people. It's been our honor, and we want to thank you so much for all you've done. Jeff, you're now manning the ship, so we're going to allow you to send us out and say something to the fans Ooh, out there. Take us oh, out. I'm so, I mean, I, this is his job, not my job. Oh, no, tonight it's your tonight job. It's your my job. job? Take him out. Take us out. You've been listening to Monty and the Pharaoh right here on Indie Music TV. And... Later. Oh, we did it. Yeah, later. Later. <laughs> nice.